Hello everyone, it's Angel here and today we are diving into a gaming related topic. In this video I'll share my thoughts on Age of Empires Mobile. I want to make it clear that I'm not indifferent to this title or city builders in general, so I decided to check out what this game has to offer. If anyone is considering trying it out from nostalgia because they played a part of Age of Empires as a kid, they'll likely be disappointed. This game is a typical city builder. As you can see I've reached over 2 million power. So this isn't the opinion of someone who just installed the game. I gave it a fair shot and here are my thoughts. I'll also be comparing it to Call of Dragons for two reasons. First I'm currently playing that game and second it's the same genre. I think it's useful for you to have a comparison, especially if someone new stumbles across this video. With that introduction let's dive into the comparison. I'll start with the main point. When I installed and played Age of Empires Mobile, I had the feeling I'd done this before. To me it feels a lot like Guns of Glory, a game I played a few years back, maybe even 6, though I'm not exactly sure. Installing Age of Empires Mobile broke back memories of GOG and reminded me why I stopped playing it. The main issue here is the combat system, which I find dull and clunky. It's very similar to GOG and Rock. Now, moving to Call of Dragons, I was skeptical at first, but as I played through the early battles, I thought, wow, this is the first game where archers actually attack from a distance. The longer I fought, and I'll be honest, open field battles are the main focus for me in games like this. The more I felt that COD has something special that other games lacked. When it comes to combat, Call of Dragons is far more enjoyable. Age of Empires, Mobile and Rise of Kingdoms can't compare to Call of Dragons. Warfare in Call of Dragons feels dynamic, like playing LOL, only with 200 players instead of 5. The icing on the cake is the artifacts, which let you stun, deal damage or even teleport, with 200 people to surprise your opponent with an unusual play. Every city builder has pay to win elements, though some more than others. It's nice when nothing essential is hidden behind a hard paywall, meaning players can eventually access certain functions or heroes without spending money. In Age of Empires Mobile, you encounter a hard paywall right from the start. An extra builder which significantly affects how fast your account develops. The only way to unlock the third building queue in Age of Empires Mobile is to buy it. Meanwhile, in Call of Dragons, on the other hand, everyone can purchase the second building queue simply by collecting 5000 gems. There is another important aspect that makes Call of Dragons more free-to-play friendly, which is rarely mentioned. This aspect ties directly to combat. In Call of Dragons, players with T4 units can fight against T5 units, the strongest unit in the game. By maintaining distance, thus avoiding numerous attacks, this means the difference between unit tiers isn't as noticeable. However, in Age of Empires Mobile and other games without ranged combat, every player is forced into direct contact with the enemy, making the strength of heroes more crucial. In Call of Dragons, where you can stay away from the action center, combat allows for more skillful play. Here's a quick comparison for rock players since the upgrade system is similar. In Call of Dragons, even heroes upgraded to 5511 or 5551, which is relatively achievable even for free to play players, can deliver impressive results. One of our top fighters, who performs exceptionally in every KVK, doesn't even have awakened heroes. He keeps them at 5551 because for the cost of one fully awakened hero, you can get two at 5551, which is more than enough. In Age of Empires Mobile, you need three heroes in your march, which raises requirements for players. It's much easier to develop two heroes than three. Another downside with Age of Empires Mobile is heroes specializations. Initially this seemed interesting, but after playing a while, I realized that despite having many heroes, most players will still be using the same lineups. This is because if they don't, they'll lose significant percentages in stats. 
like strategy damage, mighty damage, military specialization and unit specialization, which results in weaker marches compared to others. In Call of Dragons, variety is much greater. You will often see infantry heroes with archers, and even sometimes archer heroes with magic units perform well. This might be a real struggle for Age of Empires mobile players. Each hero can have 4 pieces of equipment, and upgrading a piece to 4 stars requires 20 legendary copies of the same item. In order to unlock the substats, you're going to have to star this sucker up. And it is going to require quite a bit of gold gear to star this up, I have to tell you. But you're probably not going to have these sub bonuses unlocked unless you're actually a massive whale. I'm just putting an asterisk there. There is almost no chance I'm going to craft five more of these bowman chests, plus two more that I need for my other two people in my bowman march. So I would need a total, we would need 18 bowman chests that are legendary in order to give all three of my archer heroes a one star legendary chest. That is a little bit unobtainable unless you're a large whale. Remember, you can have three heroes in a march, and the equipment of all three heroes counts towards your march stats. I will leave that for you to think about. In Call of Dragons, there is only one piece of gear for the whole march, not per pets. hero, and upgrading an artifact requires just five copies. I could mention pets here, which serve a similar purpose, but the good news is even top players have limitations on buying or capturing pets, so the gap between free-to-play and whales isn't too big. I didn't mention pets at first because Age of Empires Mobile reminds me so much of Guns of Glory, so I expect they will add something similar in the future. Perhaps airships may be drawn to accompany your legion. New eras and modern times will surely appear, it's just a matter of time. I won't get into frames or other small details that affect your march's power, because it's too many of them. Many YouTubers will try to tell you these are just cosmetic changes, but cosmetic changes don't affect the strength of your marches or heroes. A perfect example is skins in League of Legends. Whether Syndra has a skin or not, her stats remain the same. In Age of Empires, if you add up all the bonuses from skins, it's actually a significant amount of stats. And this is only the beginning. We don't even have legendary skins yet. If nothing is done about this, over time, the power gap between stronger and weaker players will only grow wider. At first glance, Age of Empires Mobile seems to have more civilizations than Call of Dragons, but they all essentially do the same thing and only give different bonuses. In Call of Dragons, each civilization, or rather faction, has unique units with special abilities and appearances. Even regular units like archers or mages differ abilities based on the faction. You know, creating 20 copies of the same thing is easier than creating something unique. Hospitals are a key part of combat. But most kingdoms establish a rule where you do not hit resource nodes ever for any reason. And the reason that kingdoms make that rule is that you take dead troops. And also it's just so annoying. Everybody's happier if nobody's hitting resource node. Okay. In Age of Empires Mobile, units die during battles. Whereas in Call of Dragons, they only get wounded and go to the hospital. And speaking of hospitals, in Age of Empires Mobile, you heal units using resources. In Call of Dragons, however, you can heal with resources or simply wait for a free heal over time. This means you don't need to farm resources constantly to fight. In Rise of Kingdoms, farming was essential. In Call of Dragons, resources help in battles, but there is no unspoken rule that you need 8 farm accounts. I manage fine with just one. Of course, there is more I could cover, but I wanted to stick to the main points. For me, Age of Empires Mobile is essentially a copy of Guns of Glory. 
many of you might think of a different city builder, but in my opinion, Age of Empires Mobile doesn't offer anything besides the title. Yes, many city builders are similar, but I think many people, myself included, expected more from Age of Empires Mobile. We wanted that wow factor, like the range combat in Call of Dragons. Some might argue that COD is a rock clone, but as a fun fact, a lot of COD's features are gradually being patched into rock, and rock players probably aren't even aware of it. Back to Age of Empires Mobile. If you are just interested in building a city, that's fine, but the combat feels like it's from 2015. Does that mean Age of Empires Mobile has no future? I have a feeling it will go the way of New World. Huge hype, big expectations, but a disappointing end. The game does have potential thanks to its title, but from a gameplay perspective, it's wasting it for now. Without major changes, its future may be uncertain, but the game is still new and it will likely change a lot. But at this point, the game doesn't stand out from others. It's simply another copy of its predecessors, but with a catchy title. We will see over time, maybe in a year if that will be enough. With that, I'll leave you here. You know what to do, take care and goodbye. Dobra, mamy to. Pytaliście, dlaczego nie nagrywam po angielsku? Mam nadzieję, że sobie to wyjaśniliśmy, prawda? Nie lubię tego akcentu angielskiego, a najgorsze to jest to combo TH. Ani to F, ani to T. No, nie ma nic gorszego dla mnie w angielskim. Hiszpański myślę, że byłby łatwiejszy do wymowy. Amigo, mi español es mejor. O al menos eso creo. No, troszkę, troszkę liznałem hiszpańskiego, a nie tak, żeby gadać po hiszpańsku. Ale na pewno wymowa jest zdecydowanie przyjemniejsza. W każdym razie, jeśli ktoś z Was dotarł aż do tego momentu, to podziwiam. Miał być polski Jankos, a wyszło jak wyszło. W każdym razie, dzięki, że jesteście, trzymajcie się. Elo.